Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. Grant Thompson ventured down to the Five Flags Speedway in Pensacola, Florida to compete with the Southern Pro-Am Truck Series last weekend, and he had a really nice run on the track the Snowball Derby makes famous. He started sixth in the feature event and finished third, continuing his streak of podium finishes. He'll be one to watch throughout the summer. Joey East was back in action at the Madeira Speedway in California, this time running in the pro late model division. The 15-year-old won his heat, started second in the feature, led 13 laps, and took home his first victory in the pro division. And much like Thompson, East has spent plenty of time on the podium so far this season, with no signs of slowing down. Cassidy Hines made a milestone in the Midwest by running her last race weekend in quarter midgets this past weekend at the Rocky Mountain Quarter Midget Club in Colorado. She went out in a blaze of glory, winning both combined world formula and combined animal divisions to close that chapter of her budding career the right way. She will spend the remainder of the 2019 season concentrating on developing her skill set in the 600 micro sprint division on the dirt. Jesse Love was back in the saddle of the Keith Coots Racing Power Eye Midget at Belclair over the weekend. And once again, he was fast. Out of 33 cars in the field, he was top six in practice and raced from the seventh starting spot to finish fourth in his heat race. Jesse then started 11th in the feature, and he was following his teammate Logan Seavey through the field when he got tapped from behind and turned in the inside wall, breaking his left front radius rod and putting him out of the race. Jesse will see duty in both the 360 and 410 sprint cars this weekend. Sheldon Creed ran Friday's Gander Outdoors Truck Series race at Kansas, and once again, he was solid, running with the leaders in the first two stages, finishing eighth and fifth, respectively. The third stage, however, not so kind to Creed, as he fell through the field and finished 19th. He currently sits 10th in the series standings. Creed and his race face teammate Anthony Alfredo will be here at Charlotte Motor Speedway this Friday night for the NC Education Lottery 200 truck series race there. Several other race face drivers had races scheduled, but persistent rains across the country forced lots of cancellations. That'll do it for this week's race face driver updates. If you missed any of our previous episodes, no worries. You can catch up by going to raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Until then, get out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.